bit of gentle rain out there this morning on and off I don't think it will come out on film so it's nice pleasant cool I'm not sure what it's going to be like later heat wise yesterday was a bit warm Tuesday is going to be very hot it's going to be um, 32 and with the wind will feel like 37 don't fancy that I'm going to be closed in all day uh, there were there was a the, the Bastille Day fireworks we could hear those and I mean and San Savan's four and a half kilometers five kilometers away I think it I mean it might have been those but it could have been Memorial no it wouldn't have been Memorial it could have been Memorial that we could hear but it went on for about 45 minutes it was very long oh I think the man's coming home from his trip no it isn't it's the other bloke um, yeah, it was very long. We were in bed reading. It just went on and on and on, thumping and banging. and um, Yeah, so uh, chickens are out. Having to scoop Mrs. Broody out every time. Um, I was going to do a bit of a walk around the garden, but um, maybe I'll do a walk around the garden. Hold on a minute. Yeah, doing a walk around the garden. So that's the cherry tree that was over here. So it's nice to have that cleared away. One pile of kindling. Uh, and he straightened my almond tree, which is good because I've been trying to put a stake in there for ages. Lots of apples have dropped, which is something called June drop, but it happened in July, so don't tell anybody. So there's lots of apples on the ground now, so not so many apples on the tree. And the tree's looking a bit happier after this rain that we had overnight. We've not had a lot of rain, but a lot of the trees are, if you can see, the leaves have curled up. We sat here yesterday and I said to Mark, we had rain, but everything looks so dry. It's just going straight through, I think, because the dead bit of olive tree I need to I need to cut this out, I think. Yeah, so I think the trees will be happy with a little bit of rain, but it's still not enough. We still have a drought crisis going on. I feel like I've shown you this, but I may not have done. If you've seen it before, look away now. I'm sure I have. So there's another pile of kindling. I have shown you this. Massive pile of wood that will gradually dry and dry and dry and, and will be easier to split. Some of those logs will just go on the fire whole, one log at a time. Hello, Mrs. Sheep. You okay over there? Huh? She's had a scritch this morning. So look, that's all ready to be strimmed at some point. Along the back of the bamboo, the cherry trees have been stacked against the hedge. Trees all gone from here. pretty and there was a some branches here they've gone I'm gonna look and see if we've had apples dropped from the Bramley I'm sure we will have done aha I see you Mrs camouflage cat what were you doing huh Sheltering from the rain. Mm. The chickens around the corner there. They came into the... I didn't think and walked through the gate and left the gate open and they came in. And I, 
chase them out because they crap all over the patio. Yeah, there's been some drop dropped apples here. Still a lot of apples on the tree. I can uh, I think I might have shown you the kiwi, but I'm gonna go out and um show you that again. It's it's absolutely laden. It's the most kiwis. Oh, did I show you that the other day when I showed you the wisteria? I don't remember. Yep, so that's all. Look at the size of those. They'll go on the fire, not. I can't imagine how easy they'll be to split. We'll get Ludo to split those at some point. That over there apparently I didn't realize but he said that it's so rotten that it would be bad for the fire I suppose in what it would do to the chimney I don't know so this cherry tree this end can't be burnt so next time somebody mows they'll be able to come through here again <laughs> that was rotten I mean, bits of it had fallen. Another one up there. I'm not walking through there. You following me, Mrs. Pussycat? This is the, um, the trunk with the cherry. Up, oh, and that's a cat. Are you posing? Huh? Are you photobombing? Are you photobombing? What are you doing? Hmm? Well, the chickens they're sort of congregating under the walnut so they don't get wet it's not that wet actually it's I'm having a bit of a preen that dog's not happy Let's go and see those chickens. Go on. Don't get him away. You'll I'll trip over. You wouldn't want that. Get no food. Hmm. One go. Oh, they're both there. So I. The one in the foreground, this gold one is the broody, I think. Can I keep hoiking her out every day? She can't get back in the coop now. So she's got access to water and whatever grubs they dig up in the garden. Um, and I'm doing that every morning with her. We're gonna have to, we dismantled the cage when, um, well, Kez dismantled the cage so that he could clear out the coop. We're gonna have to put it back together again, I think, to, um, break her but if she i mean the trouble is she's gone broody on a concrete floor so um the cage will be on a concrete floor i've just realized that it's gates open Ooh, that's a dodgy thing isn't it nobody's noticed yet because nobody will walk through what they perceive as a barrier but they'll follow me so they need to move a bit quickly so nobody's come beyond this micro station Come on, cat, quick, before they follow me. Yep. Whew. Q. 
two. That was lucky. Very lucky actually because the gates are open so she could have come through here and gone out the front gate. I think this is the first time she's been over this way. So Mark put a washing line up. He's taken it down now. Oh no, it's there. He put it up but I hadn't realised that actually even though it's even, more even over there under the walnut, the topography's changed and there's now quite a steep hill. And by the time I get to the washing line, I've gone down the hill and the washing line's disappeared. So I said to him, no, that's it, I can't do that. It was too hot as well yesterday to carry on trying to hang washing up. So we came and um, hung it up on the clothes horse, which is out on the patio. And within three hours we were taking it, the washing in because it was dry, so. So yesterday felt like Sunday, and it was Friday. Today is Saturday, obviously. You don't need me to tell you that. <sighs> oh, that's where we started. The other side of those. This was full of butterflies yesterday. Butterflies, hummingbird, moths. They're all sheltering somewhere so it's not so damp. So the kiwi. It's dripping, dripping with fruit. More like, you know, bunches of grapes. Uh, certainly going to have to find people to these are all hanging I mean they're, they're not going to be very big because they're just there's too many I'm not really bothered but if you look they're just loads of them I really do need to find people that like kiwis this year because there's no way we can eat them all I'm going to pause you a minute I'm going to end here Mark's just come home so I'm finishing here Hope you have a good day.